Ja. Wait. I don't know if I should go through with this. Make the trade deal with the Anamainfath. If a Valian deal with the Glanfathens weakens the Deerwood, it could mean war for the Republics in the future. I could put the idea in the Anamainfath's head that the Republics are not interested in exclusive trade, but limited trade of goods that they do not already trade with the Deerwoodens. Another Estramore. What do you want? Few Estramoran are given the freedom of our sacred city. That you ask for this person is suspicious. There are reasons we don't let you Estramoran roam our sacred city. Reasons I am coming to understand. Looters have grown bolder at the sights of the builders. The people of Defiance Bay set fire to their own city. And every week, the three Tusk Stelgar, permitting... You'd better explain yourself. There's no way you could have known this saying. Not unless you are a galoose on Anams, a watcher of souls. Feralt's warning came before the Broken Stone War. Feralt, my ancestor on my mother's side, 
was Anamfath, a Feralt believed that the invaders could be taught to respect the builders as we do. He also believed the builders' souls had spread to all peoples, and that we should avoid me While Feralt's words were shrewd, they were ignored back then. Simply... Another Estramore came through here a few days ago and, well, letting him through was a mistake. One I am eager not to repeat. The Guided Compass tribe has a reputation for being too... I won't repeat a mistake in my haste to correct it. We bar twin elms from Estramoran to protect the ancient places. These were the words given to the keepers of the stone. Very well. The city is yours to explore. Tell the guard at the gate that you come to see the cornerstone with the blessing of... That's it. My position in the Brotherhood gone. I can't believe I just made up new trade terms to the Glanfather and Anamenfar. Postenago. Verus. They have a saying in Biagepe. New gold clears even... Huh? Keep an eye out.
You have stayed true to our cause, Inquisitor, when so many others have not. For every heretic we confess, for every betrayer that burns on our pyres, new sheep continue to flock to Ivara Ix Incios. But not you. I... It is not for honor that I summoned you today, but for duty. Too many of our own have... We have but one option. Not in Kratom, surely. You have already done much for the Inquisition. I wouldn't ask... Nice and... Turn around, flesh creature. Outsiders are not permitted to approach the elms. Do you not feel it, sister? Something familiar? An ancient soul, like the other one. Hmm, so it would seem, Rhiannon. What of it, young trespasser? Is it as my sister says? Or are you there? But really, sister? And you wonder why your leaves begin to fall out before midsummer? Clearly that man did not want to be followed. Whatever the The answer is yes, old one. We crossed paths with Theos not long ago, and we can tell you where he went. But I find it curious. Ridiculous. Are you so agitated by recent- But that's what this is really about. I see it now. You are- I'm sorry to tell you this, but Theos cannot give you what you seek. Nor can any man. An awakening cannot... The soul is formless without a past to shape it. Did you truly expect to be able to wipe it away? However, as much as my sister speaks, I would. Were the way not so likely to end in death, the man Theos you must already know by now. You are linked by a common past. So but were you to learn the source of this discord, perhaps it could be put to rest. You might wait for it to come on its own, of course. But when it comes, or you could learn it from someone who already knows. It is said the gods made his memory perfect. Not that he would tell. You have followed the right person for the wrong reason, it seems. We see it often beneath the elm. The only thing that's certain is you did not find. He has gone down beneath the tower to a place of... May he stay down. He may yet. He won't be... We know of one. On the... Don't be cruel. The way my sister speaks of is not for the faint of heart. The pit is said to have been a means of the court is old. No more than a ruin now. It is older than we. A place for the trial of heretics. The fall killed them, of course. But behind us is Ter Evron, said to pierce the shroud itself, and a place of communion with them. Not the only way. I would pray first to those gods you like best. I hope for yours, none. Ter Evron is also c You should choose a place to pray with. What do you wish to know? The same way you share certain similarities. Before you go, tell me this, old one. I'm curious. If you were to subdue your enemy, what would you do with him? What would give you peace? A great many questions. All the same. And be warned. May you find...
Does it? for the ages. Sure. Her awakenings being permanent? Without a mind of their own, and a crack of your staff sets them. Arenzi has no right to defend that cowering cat in the back of the mall. Then trap. Look, Estramore, this is no place for guess. They won't fight. This is truth.
this I <laughs> Nice and quiet. Something over there. Be cautious. Be constant. This is Sewell's domain, Estramore. She shall not leave it for awareness or defending the rightful awareness is welcome to confront her. The Lord of the Hunt gives unique advantages to each. It's not for us to... I may be patient, but Sewell isn't. Unless you have news about the bear's demise. I may be patient. You would side with the bear too? Choose your next words with care. I hadn't thought of it that way. Such a magnificent animal. I thought that protecting her... Margarine's fire casts light in dark Something over there. Come to see the great Oernos Estramo because she holds up at the back of the mall. Surrounded by her pride and the natural hazards of this place. If you stand on the side of that toothless old bag of... Be quiet. 
Lay in low. If those Delon gone are right, you and I are stuck with our awakenings. Not quite the news I was hoping for. Oh, the knowledge that a barely civilized bumpkin will share my mind and body for the rest of my life? That's kind of you to ask. <sighs> I'd always believed that Islamia was an ailment I could cure myself of one day. But now, to think she'll be around forever. <laughs> Overstarched tunics, burnt toast, rawatai sherry, those are not that bad. I've always seen her as an adversary. You've shown me that, for all her flaws, she's been an ally, too. something else the Delam God said, about the gods not being real. It's just, I can't help but worry at the state we'd be in if that were somehow true, if there were no power guiding us in this life and shepherding us to the next. I hope you're right. Still looking around? What? Take a look. You have slain two mighty hunters. Blood flows in the maw, yet no victor emerges. Why have you denied me, my champion? Ah, fresh blood. The new feast on the carcass of the old. Hmm. You sought and won the favor of Galloway. To track a quarry, you must understand its movement. Let him know his foe. Theos has trapped thousands of souls in sun and shadow like rabbits in a snare. Now, he goes there to retrieve the kill for his master, Woodiga. She will feast on them, suck their marrow, grow strong on their essence. Because he is her hound. He is always... Wurika stands for an old... They both fear change, and the Deerwood has changed much recently. People find answers not in the... And why not? When they have looked...
clash of ideas, the search for answers. This is the destiny of Kith. And to improve. <sighs> Steady labor and earnest... There is a pact. One Wurika herself has just barely kept. We guard. This limit keeps peace be So Wurika directs Theos and- It is not our fight. Your feet are swift and your instincts true, Hunter. Track- You must stop him before- And if you do, you will have a different decision to make. Souls were ripped from the world, ripe and full and pulsing with essence. Scatter them like bones to a pack of dogs. Their essence will strengthen the souls of the Deerwood. Let the remains of the dead feed the survivors. To breed What Theos did cannot be undone. Thousands of lives have changed. And improvement is the goal of all Kith. Long lives, prosperous futures, stronger minds and bodies. Strengthening those who remain. And when you descend the pit to sun in shadow, you can count on our assistance to see you safely through. As I hope. Hunt him, mortal. And when you stop him, let the souls strengthen the souls of those who re- Betray us and my beasts shall track you down. Our allegiance is not to be- Consider and- The bargain is struck one- Hmm. Nice and quiet. What? What is it, Watcher? It stinks of her. It is justice, but if her greater purpose was to think Margaret would fall prey to such deceit, and Aethys. Surely Aethys earned his death at Godhammer Citadel, but not for those reasons. Not to keep him silent. If such a thing has brought about, must we always be tools of gods? If Woodica and Margrin, if they are the cause of this, the Hollowborn, if the purges were never necessary, if Aethys was fighting back, no, no it is not. It... I am glad to have walked this far with you. Perhaps it was what I was meant to see. With a watcher's eyes. All these dances of words and intrigues. Machines of men, twisted, ripping the souls of children and by the gods. The goddess of justice. Woodica, she must answer to her own justice. Does it? Be cautious. Be constant. Slowly now. If doubts and curiosity plague you, some shaped for hunt and war. Before. Hmm? 
If doubts and curiosity play... What? If doubts and curi... Keep an eye out. Sure. Stop right there! You're in the wrong city, Inquisitor. Did you think you wouldn't be recognized here, in your old home? Soros, what are you doing? An assassin sent by the Inquisition, my lady. Surely this is some trick of my mind. I did not expect to see you again. My Lady Yavara, I beg of you. This is a missionary. My Lady... That should make him less of a threat, wouldn't you agree? We have many former mission... Come. Steady does it. This does look like Theos's kind of place. No sign that anyone's been here in ages. Do you remember when we were children? And the missionaries... I remember when I... That fort burned down a few years ago, when we cast the mission... I miscalculated many... I always knew this... I don't think I... If war is coming... Arsionis... Be cautious. Be constant. I? Slowly now. I'll see what...
I can find. Another turn, Inquisitor. I ask again, Yovara Ix and I can Do you con I Indeed. You have no followers here, heretic. Your lies hold no sway in the court. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. After what seems like an eternity, your rapid descent comes to an abrupt end. You remain still for a moment while your heart settles and your eyes adjust, breathing in stale, forgotten air. Before you, a narrow and eroded walkway becomes faintly visible in the dim light, cutting a winding path through a cavern so expansive it seems a world unto itself. In the distance, you can make out the cold gleam of living Audra veins that spike and fork in and out of view from the murky depths beneath. Their glow a faint and fleeting guide along the ancient trail. You look above at the opening you jumped through, now barely a speck of light like some distant star alone in the cosmos and forever out of reach. Your only way lies ahead. Well, that one uh, better than I expected. I think I dislocated my. Yeah, that's better. Now this I haven't seen before. Slowly now.
Settled. Simple test. That's settled. Love returns to me at long last. You are so different now from who you were then, yet much remains the same. Old troubles with a new face. What is it that has brought you here? I'd hoped after our last discussion you would find what you sought. Has it eluded you all this time? I can only guess your presence here has something to do with Theos. The energy of this place changes when he is near. I don't know what he has done, but I do know of the souls that pass through here now. They do not come by choice. After all this time, he would still stand against... I will tell you what I remember. I can see his influence still hanging like a weight about your neck. It was just after the trial. You were agitating. That the gods aren't real. <laughs> I dreaded the idea from the moment the Delamgon suggested it. And yet, it almost feels like a relief. She's not serious. <laughs> Perhaps not to her. Many are those whom the gods have scorned. This is petty retribution. That doesn't seem possible. What I taught was that the gods whose faith we had been spreading were not gods at all, but something else entirely. Something created by people. They were conceived by Engwith, a society of high minds and broad concerns. Theos's people. In their time, Every people worshipped its own gods. Sometimes they warred over it. After a few wars of their own, the Anguithans sought an end to it. 
they devoted all their energy to finding the true creators. Generation after generation, they prodded and worked the stitching of the world and unlocked its secrets. One day, they found an answer. It shook them, this finding. If they could discover this on their own, how long until others would? How long before war and chaos reigned over a world without consequence? I never thought of it as faith, but I think you are right to call it that. I became a missionary because the gods brought me hope that I want to be. The Anguithan missionaries all knew it, but they never told the rest of us. They meant it to be a secret that died with them, and in the end, they allowed their bloodlines to fade from memory. I had been assigned to join a few of them at a temple. I found the door to their chambers closed, but the room was stone and the door thin. Their voices... You asked me this once before. Nothing I can say would be any proof, and it made everyone faces this truth at one time or another. What if all the tragedy... But that's not... That, that can't be right. The power of the gods is undeniable. What if it were forbidden knowledge rather than fault that earned your doom? What of your guilt? Margren set a path for me. She is fickle and cruel, but that is how she... And what if the fires themselves were lies? Lies you told yourself to bridge the gap between... What if you had always been alone? Well... As poorly as I've chosen my guide. The freedom has always been. It was the guidance that was the illusion. What if our burdens come to us not because they are meant to be, but because they happen to be? We fulfill them anyway, because they still matter to the people around us, even if we know better. What if even mastery over all things cannot answer the most basic of questions? I stopped asking those questions long ago. Verus, we find purpose in ourselves. There is bliss to be found in the things we create. I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple, but somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god could conceive it. Do we not owe ourselves a chance to find our part in it? so long now. I've found peace with my failures. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition, even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember? Maybe I suspected. I just didn't want to believe it. Not from you. When you showed up at my camp that day, I thought it would be like it had been before. Good. Good. The things I taught. The things I believed. I... Of all that I loved you for, it was you had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who?
after what seems like an eternity. Now, this I haven't seen. Before. I think I dislocated my. Let's go! That's settled. Nice and slow. Sure. You were then, yet much remains the same. A gallant gesture, if a bit. I can only guess you're after all. I will tell you what I can see. It was just after the try that the god. Huh, she's not. <laughs> that does. What I taught was that the gods whose fate the end with. They were congener. It shook them this fight. I never. I became a missionary. You asked everyone. What if but that's not the power? What if it Margaret and what if what if you had well, the freedom? What if what if you I stop? Yet strength is not given but earned. I ask these things not to trouble you, but to show why they must be confronted. No answer is simple. But somewhere between them all lies a truth so beautiful, not even a god. If that is truly what you believe. I've been alone here with my thoughts for so long. I need to know why you chose to remain with the Inquisition, even after you'd learned the truth. Do you... Do you remember? Woodica gifted him a great many things. Good. Good. The things I taught. The things I believed. I needed to hear that. Of all you had heard both sides, seen everything. If not you, then who? I expected dissent, even knowing what you- And what of your understanding of our past? Are you at ease with the choice you made? I have always forgiven you. Though I didn't know your reason, I knew you. At first I thought this might be the source of your soul's anguish. But now I see I was mistaken. You are not divided on this matter. You have put it behind you. It is with Theos that your act. Yet if there is anything I can tell you that would be of use, ask and you shall- He cares only for the secret he keeps locked. That's why he's always- If Theos succeeds, there will be- You will not find a more resolute being. I could not say for sure. But you- His words mattered to you when you knew him then. In a matter of speaking. This is Braith Yaman. The this prison was full once in the days of the Inquisition. But time weathers all things. Even will. They aid you because they would bend you to their own purposes. Anguish. But these souls, 
These forgiven the gods have bequeathed you like chattel. Theos will not wait for you. If you do not catch up to him now, you may never find him again. If I repent, all I have done has meant nothing. I am grateful you came and found me here. No matter the circumstances, you're not exactly who you If ever we should meet again, in this life or any other... The gods are a sham that people have followed for thousands of years. I can't see much, but I hear a noise like a pig choking on wet feet. So, uh... I guess Durance is breathing, at least. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we note a rather sharp drop somewhere around here? Anyone hear an echo? Full of surprises, aren't you? Yeah. Look at the size of this place. Can you do that again? I, I had something in my eye and missed most of it. Good shot with this.
I'm on the trail. Sure. To our whole lives and many lives before that and it's led us to put our faith in a pantheon of gods that never deserved it in the first place you're right people will be better off finding direction on their own than following them. seems like that's all they've been doing of late I've also been thinking there won't be much left of Theos by the time you're done with him, if I know how you operate. That will leave the Leaden Key headless. Perhaps it's best it stays that way. This is... unexpected coming from you. Why keep it going? Then let's face Theos. When this is all over, I'll remember what we've been through. I'll see the Leaden Key transformed into a stronger, better guide for Kith. And I won't make the mistakes Theos did. Yeah. May I help?
ready to take the oath to spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen. But you will answer to me as well. the wrong things as I was. to Wudika's greatest servants among my people. It has many uses, but it's per- We are in a sanctum holy to Wudika. That woman sought only to destroy the foundations of peace. The what is a god? Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked? Something. We are in a sacred place within here. You will return home and you will rest. There are many who continue to spread the lies of the apostate. The Inquisition. How did you find it? Another in a string of acts of petty defiance. For all her knowledge, she always preferred spite over reason. Then she should have obeyed. I ask one thing of all my followers. She was incapable. A waste of rare talent and intellect. What of your cohorts, then? They have followed you to their deaths. Is it loyalty that brings them here? Or is it, as my agents suggest, that they have no direction of their own? You. You worshipped Aethus, did you not? Your spies are good. What gave me away? The cape? Yet when your god needed you the most, you chose your country. We were being invaded, not by anyone who was acting like a god. Then I should think your hometown gave you a hero's welcome when you returned. They made cake. Hard to blame people for losing faith when it's the gods who are misbehaving. The gods argue over how best to prevent Kith society from destroying itself. These disruptions would not be necessary were mortal instinct not so diseased. You built a weapon that delivered exactly as promised. I served my goddess as you did yours. Yet the other builders were slain. Eleven of a dozen. Why not you? Were you somehow different? Redeemable in your god's sight? There was a message there, whether she meant it or not. Or was it merely that your goddess wanted you dead as well? and your delusions of importance prevented you from seeing the obvious. A whore's beguiling charms, nothing more. But the spell's broke now, Theos. The trial's over. I know friend from foe. And I've come here now to see a foe repaid. 
You were able to destroy a god because another god wished it. Without her hand to guide you, you could not strike at a god any more than you could strike the sky. You are impotent, and not just from the pox. I understand your duke's bells gave you a mission. Their orders do not absolve me of my greater responsibility to the safety and well-being of the Republics. You might want to skip over this one, Theos. Don't want to pick a fight you can't win. Yet you disobeyed. Something you already have a reputation for. They will know, of course. If it had been for a worthy cause, they might have forgiven you. But I don't see them pursuing animancy after seeing what it's done here. They trusted you. And you disappointed, as you always have, and you will again be disowned. The parents scold, but the children are safe. Whether animancy research continues in the Republics or not, they will survive. For now, that's enough. In any case, I wouldn't be so smug about my fate, Theos. I imagine Wudeka responds to disappointment much more severely than even my dukes. State your name and purpose, young Acolyte. My name belongs to the gods, in my hand to their service. And I'm going to purge it of your stain. You serve none but yourself. Without contact with your order, you can have no higher purpose. Only the base concerns of the fl- No. I've risen above them. I'll take the leaden key and lead in a way that you, who remained a leader without insight, directing an organization that does not question. Quite a vision, Initiate. You are far from home, Dwarf. It was a challenge I was glad to undertake for my village. A journey, then. It must be of some- It's important to Masuk. You are here because you are lost. The gods cannot reach everyone, I'm afraid. I gather you have had your soul awakened. Why else would you shadow my footsteps like some stray mongrel? You think I have something to offer you, but our business was concluded long ago. You think your abilities only flow in one direction. That isn't how it works, I'm afraid. Not for me. For all that you saw of my soul in the sanitarium, I saw as much of yours. I answered your questions once. That your soul is not fit to accept the answers is of little concern to me. I lied to no one. Not to you, not to anyone. The gods are real. They are everything we need them to be, and the world is better for it. The spread of our faith ended many such atrocities. The heart of this country has skipped a beat. Nothing more. I have done far worse. I plunged the peaceful kingdom of Tal- When plague arrived at the great city of Arborensis, I saw to it that the cure did not. They piled their dead outside the city in heaps that rose above their walls. It is to show the proper perspective. There was a time, back when your soul was still a shapeless mist, when the world believed only in false gods. Thousands of them. God, but all that changed when they learned of the true gods. Our gods. All those misshapen, bestial instincts melted beneath the radiance of our god's majesty. You could see it and replaced it with one far worse. Have you imagined this existence? The one the apostate would have created? We are not all so virtuous as she. Without our god, but more than that, it would be a hollow existence. All mysteries forever unanswered. All Telling yourself each day that what you do matters. That it isn't all for nothing. That the world is just. All I have seen. The millennia of experience. I will not be dissuaded from this course. This is the... We are all controlled by our own doubt. With your soul and thousands of others, I will see... Hear me, Woodica. 
Your servant calls for aid. Knowing it was all for nothing. In his own way, Theos must have truly believed he was caring for the people of Aeora, protecting them from. Some point, you have to look all those lives. And at the end of them, he was no better than the very people he sought to guide. No! You cannot allow this. He will have no reminders. He will not remember the message we wrote on his fragmented... You are kinder to that man than I would have been. A questionable act. Without his memories, there will...
ancient device became your instrument, spinning to life with deafening resonance and gathering up the swirling essence like thread on a great spindle. There, in the pale pulsing glow of the machine that set you on this path long ago, you summoned all your strength, focusing on your objective and blocking out all else. With a single concussive blast that rocked the chamber and sent you tumbling to the ground, you freed the souls from their stasis. Exhausted, your consciousness slipping away, your last sight was of the machine, dark and dormant. Then your eyes closed, and sleep welcomed you at long last. After coming to and searching for some time, you discovered the route Theos used to enter Sun in Shadow and embarked on a long and arduous ascent back to the surface. You emerged in Terror Evron after days of tunneling through the rubble Theos had left behind, and when you stepped into the daylight, you were faced with a different Deerwood than the one you had left. At your direction, the souls diverted by Theos were guided back to the vessels originally meant for them. For the first time, parents of hollow-born children woke to the cries of their infants, and looked into their eyes to see them staring back. People fell to their knees where they stood, thanking Helia or Magrin or even Aethys for their forgiveness of whatever guilt they felt they bore. But for all the relief that had come to some parents, others only found new grief. For many thousands of Hollowborn had died during Wildwind's legacy, many by their parents' own hands. For those children, there would be no homecoming. Yet the last hollow birth was in the past now, and those parents willing to risk trying for a new child were frequently rewarded, often with twins. Many felt they saw Helia's hand in it, and the year would be remembered as the year of Helia's splendor. It is said that Galloway is the enforcer of the gods, and is known to hunt down those who wrong them. To wrong Galloway, then, is truly to wake the beast, and the father of monsters took great umbrage at your broken promise to him. Along with Magrin and Abidon, Galloway embarked upon a more direct approach to claiming his quarry. In the months that followed, the frontier settlements of Deerwood were inexplicably attacked by packs of beasts and monsters, suddenly organized and unafraid to approach Kith on their own land. Many such villages were all but destroyed by the time troops could be dispatched from local garrisons. Those that weren't destroyed by the beasts of Galloway often found themselves at the mercy of the fires of Magrin. A dry spell throughout Deerwood led to a rash of forest fires on a scale not seen since the War of Black Trees, and many settlements paid the price for their proximity to the wilderness. In the cities, meanwhile, Dabblers and Anamancy, who had placed souls into golems and other moving vessels, soon found that their creations had risen up against them. Such constructs terrorize their surroundings, killing indiscriminately and often in great numbers before being subdued. Though you had killed Lord Radric in his throne room, so strong was his drive to rid his land of Aethasians that he returned to life as a death guard, a deathless crusader for his brutal cause. With the remains of his humanity stripped away, Radric came to see all the people of Gilded Vale as worshippers of Aethas, and one day, he led his forces into the village personally, following the assassinations of Duke Avar Wolfgren and Lady Webb. Defiance Bay was thrown into political upheaval. In the ensuing weeks, the streets had become the domain of looters, and but order would soon come from an unexpected source. House Dominell, realizing that stability was good for business, brought the city's criminal elements in line through a systematic campaign of fear and intimidation. Defiance Bay would not fare so well. Squeezed by the Dominels for every piece of copper, prices soared, and trade ground to a halt. Though the machine atop Terre Noaneth had been drained of its accumulated essence, the machine had not seen its last use. Heritage Hill was rebuilt, and no sooner had the first families moved in to resettle the district than members of the Leaden Key, acting understanding orders from their Grand Master, climbed the tower and react. The Duke's assassination at the apparent hands of an Anamancer had caused catastrophic rioting in the streets of Defiance Bay. But those who had escaped the melee in the palace hearings remembered the testimonies of the strange guest who had shown up that day and absolved Anamancer. When the legacy had lifted, 
people came to see it not as a sign that the riots had been according to the gods' wishes, as Theos had hoped, but as a confirmation that animancy had never been the source of the problem in the first place. Dear Woodens instead convinced themselves that the riots had somehow purged Defiance Bay of leaden key spies, and that the end the town of Deerford had seen the last of the cult of Scan. Dark rumors about the town's many curses quickly faded, and the hollowborn scourge ended. And as news of the White Forge with her newfound energy, Tana oversaw the restoration of Stal- Even as Stalwart memorialized the discovery of the White Forge, releasing Harmka left the Devil of Carrick with a gnawing dissatisfaction that continued to eat at her long after the Watcher confronted Theos. She resumed her search for the men and women who had raised Coldborn, clinging to the hope that enacting her revenge might one day allow her to feel something. Yet, as she hunted and killed, the futility of her actions grew like a leaden weight in her gut. Her movements grew stiff and sluggish as her zeal deserted her. One day, the fortress of Cadnua emerged as a bastion of security in the midst of an untamed land, becoming the envy of every thane and earl in Deerwood. After the death of the master below, a strange quiet fell. Pelagina had gone against the Duke's Bell's orders by inventing a new trade arrangement with the Anamenfath to accommodate the recovering Deerwood and Market. With the Deerwood's people still weakened by what Adair chose not to return home to Gilded Vale. Still most comfortable far from cities, he settled in Deerford, which, like many towns in the Deerwood, was beginning the slow process of rebuilding. Believing now that it was the obligation of Kith to be the leaders their gods had not, when the dust settled in sun and shadow, Aloth looked upon the remains of Theos Ix Arcanon, his former master. He saw where the grand with the Watcher's goals accomplished and his own vows fulfilled, Kanorua sailed back toward Rawatai, thinking on the lessons his travels had provided him. By the time he landed at Tekoa, he understood what his path true to his word. Kana soon set sail on yet another expedition, with Theos defeated and the souls released from sun and shadow. Healthy children were born once again in the Deerwood. The grieving mother sought a place where she Durance continued to blame Woodica for the atrocities of the Saints' War. Believing Magrin to have been a pawn in the machinations of the Queen that was, and feeling that Theos' expulsion had been a step towards reconciliation with his goddess, Durance tried for a time to reopen communication with her. When only silence came, he took it as a condemnation of his continued. You and Sagani never found Persak together. The Adra figurine had gone dark by the time they emerged from Sun and Shadow, and it was another month before Sagani finally accepted that Persak's trail had gone cold again. Her search took her beyond the Deerwood, and as far twenty years passed before the Adra figurine finally glowed again. When it did, she followed its signal to a quiet hamlet on the outskirts of Adir. There, she met a young farmer and told her of her past as an elder of Masuk. Sagani returned to a village that had forgotten her face, but remembered her story. Masuk greeted her with cautious warmth, and Sagani found that their ways had been... She also learned that Kalu had perished of winter fever a few years before, and her middle child, Majuo, had died in a raid. But she found her daughter Yakona a hunter and mother of three, and her son Malak a builder of mighty walls. In them, she came to find her place in the village, and the familiar contours of a world that had changed in her app. For you, the death of Theos brought an end to your waking visions, and a silence to the whispers of the past. In their absence, you were able to... Unfortunately, you would have little time to contemplate the matter. Soon after your victory at Sun and Shadow, rumors of a...